What's going on everybody? I know it's been a while, these are some busy times, but I didn't want to leave you hanging for too long. Today we are making something with this, for this. So I had the idea to fit a velocity stack to this carburetor on the Solex. As you can see here, I'm not really sure why, but I, I thought it had some style points, some extra finesse in this bike. It's all in the details. So I measured the carb up and I went into Fusion 360 and I've drawn this velocity stack and 3D printed it to check my measurements. So now we are going to make it out of, out of aluminium. This is the biggest piece of aluminium I have currently. I will have to buy some bigger stock uh, so I can maybe remake it. But I will try to make it out of two pieces and fit these pieces together. Later on, if I get some extra stock, I will try to remake it out of one piece. For now, this will do. So without further ado, let's fire this thing up and get to milling. These are the parts. Uh, I have a little bit of vibration on one axis. Uh, that's why I have some shatter on the part, but it'll be saveable with some uh, sandpaper, nothing too big. I'm going to grind a little chamfer on these edges. I'm going to try and solder these together. You should be able to solder aluminum. So that's what we're going to try. There we go. We have a chamfer on the parts. So let's heat him up and get the soldering. No, it's not working. So it doesn't work with soldering, not sure why. I tried two different types of solder. Somehow the internet is full of people soldering aluminium, but uh, here it doesn't work. So I've also got uh, some epoxy repair stuff from the store, which I'm going to try. This should stick well to aluminium. Whoa. So let's give this thing a shot. So it's on, they say you should be able to sand and smooth this after half an hour, so I'm just going to leave it for half an hour and then come back. Hopefully this thing works. So it's the next day, this thing is pretty hard now, I've already went ahead and give it a quick sand. So now I'm just uh, putting it in the drill, I'm going to try and sand this smooth. After literally half an hour of sanding, this is the result, it's definitely not perfect but I don't mind, it fits the bike, I think. The only thing that's left to do is to drill this hole again, so we have a ni nice and perfect hole, and then maybe give it a little buff uh, on the polishing wheel, and then fit it up. No! <sighs> I guess this is not what it's supposed to do. Ah, shit. So I wanted to put it in the vise and it just broke. Crap. Well, I guess I'll just work with this then. So I've drilled it out so it's a clean straight hole now. It will be a small velocity stack. I will have to get some bigger pieces of aluminium. Uh, but first I actually have to fix uh, the play in my axis on the mill. Let's sand or let's smooth and polish this one and mount it on the bike. So 
with a bit of a buff. It has a bit of shine to it, nothing too much. So let's fit it on the bike. This should just be a press fit. Hey, <laughs> it's not as big as I wanted. I wanted a, a tall one to fit above the choke lever, but I guess it'll have to do for now. Does it do anything for performance? I highly doubt it, but it does add some style points. So it looks pretty cool. So that'll be it for this episode. Consider liking and subscribing for more. There will be more on this bike and all the other bikes. Uh, as you can see, I fitted a front headlight. It's a bit out of place, but I like it. It fits this bike, but sadly enough, it doesn't work. So we'll have to make a video on that to fix this electrical system, but that'll be it for now. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.